What is going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can record PC games for free. So I think we'll just start off with the video now and um, I will show you through the settings in OBS slash OBS studio um, and how you can record your PC games. So. Um, as you can see, I have OBS and OBS Studio here. Um, OBS I use for live streaming and OBS Studio I use for gameplays. So, when I'm recording gameplays. So, if, um, yeah, I will just show you the settings in OBS Studio. So, let's just open it up. So, when you are opening OBS Studio, it will look like this. And you're just thinking, what the fuck, why is the screen not showing up? That's because you have to choose your scenes. I just use scene. And then um, you have to choose your sources. So if you click right click here and add, then you can use, uh, choose, sorry, you can choose your game capture. That's to re record your games. You can call it whatever you want. And here I will just leave it like capture any full screen application. So leave it like this. And then we click right click again, add, and then we use the display capture. If we click OK, you will see, oh, here is my screen. So you can actually see um, your own screen now and you can record your screen and that it works fine. But before we will record record anything we have to go through some settings so then you just click on file settings and then we have general um so here you can choose the language you want to use for obs studio or and um i have done english as you can see um and i don't know what these settings do or does don't know um but you can just read through it i i don't know i just leave it like it is so yeah let's go to stream so i said as i said i'm not using obs studio for streaming but you can if you want you just have to um choose streaming services service yeah services and then you have to choose your service then you choose twitch or youtube or whatever you want to um stream with um and then you have to choose uh yeah but if you if i, I live in denmark so i have to choose frankfurt because that's the nearest city um from here where i live so i have to choose frankfurt so if we now go to output we have all that stuff but you will see it like this and you're just thinking okay i don't know how to use it you don't know what you have to type and you don't know anything so i recommend that you really click on output mode and use advanced so then we have streaming recording and audio so streaming we don't use in obs studio or i do not so i will just go uh, right to recording so here you see a lot of stuff is going on here so type you just use um stan standard and then you have the recording path that's where your video is going to be saved um you just click browse and then you just yeah, go into your folder where you want to um, have your recording. So I have it here in OBS videos. Um, and then we have the recording format. I use MP4 on yours. If you just have downloaded OBS, you have it on FLV. But if you use FLV, um, it will mostly just be a black screen when you watch your video um it's just a bug i don't know why this is happening um but i really recommend you use mp4 and not flv because then you are sure that nothing is going wrong so then you have your audio track there you can use uh four audio tracks but just leave it on one 
And um, yeah, then we have encoder. Um, and here I would take X to 64. And then we have the rescale output. Just click on that guy and then choose your resolution. And then we have these settings. Um, I'm not sure if they are going to show up on yours. Oh, oh, when you click on encoder and take X to 64, then it will show up. So let's see where we have the best stuff. Let's call it that. So rate control, you put that on CRF. It will stay on CBR, but I recommend really that you use CRF. So then you um, on CRF, then you just uh, type in 10. And keyframe, you type in two. You don't need to do it like like I did, but um, this works best for me. So I will just show you. <coughs> Sorry, I will just show you what I use for my gameplays. So then we have CPU usage preset. So if we, I have a crap computer, so I have to run it on ultra fast. Um, yours will stay on very fast, I think. Um, you can also choose super fast if you want, or ultra fast. Um, you have to play a little bit around with it and see what works best for you. I just have it on ultra fast. So, then we have profile. That will, I think it stays on none on yours or on main. Um, if it's on main, you can leave it like that. You can also choose high, but I have it on high. Um, if you have any lags or something like that, you just choose main. I think that will then fix it. That It did on my friend's computer. So you can just leave it on main if you want. So then we have tune. I just have it on none. Then we have variable frame rate. You just click on that. And then we have X264 options. So I don't think that works in... Um, here in OBS Studio, but it was actually the same thing in OBS. So here you can type in CRF. Um, shit, what the heck is that called? Is it equals? I don't know. Shit, I'm, I'm oh my god, I'm mind blown. Um, yeah. <laughs> then you just make this one, and then uh, you type in 10, like it stays here. It will stay in the description. So then you will get the properly the highest or HD settings um, so just type it in to be sure I don't know if it works but in OBS it does so just type it in to be sure okay um, and then we click apply when we have uh, chosen all our settings and then we go to audio then we see uh, sample rate and if we now click right click on our Headphones here, we click on, um, I'm sorry, it's in Danish, on that one. Then we see our headphones. So if we right click on that guy that we're using right now, then we go to, then, then we click on properties. Then we go to advanced, and then you see this um, little, yeah, like, you know. <laughs> if you click on that one, you can choose some of these settings. You probably have it on for 44.1 that's this one but i have it on 48 um so that's what i use but if you have it on 44.1 you have to on sample rate you have to choose 44.1 so i just i will just close that down and then we have channels it depends on what mic you are using but um i i have a studio mic so, um, I th think um, if I use mono, you will only hear me on the left ear or the right ear, I don't know. But the, the one of the ears will not work. <laughs> I don't, okay, the headphones, let's say headphone ears, okay? <laughs> um, so, it can also be that I have to choose mono, I don't know, but I just leave it on stereo. So. Then we have desktop audio device. 
Here you choose your headphones that you want to use. You can also use a second headphones or second he headphones if you have that or your speakers, what what else. Um, and uh, But if you do that, you will hear your computer sound and all that stuff two times when you watch the video. So that's just crap. So just disable it. And that's the same thing with the mic. Here you just use mic auxiliary audio device. I'm sorry, I can't spell that right. <laughs> um, and here you just choose your mic. So that's my studio mic, so that's what I'm gonna choose. And the other ones you just disable. So, then you click apply. Um, and then we go to video. Here you can use or choose, I'm sorry, I'm always saying use, but I mean choose. Here you can choose your resolution. So, you can, I have um, 9020 x 180 or one yeah 1080 let's say 1080 um and then we have our output scaled resolution um that one i actually could put on 1920 um 1080 but i just leave it like it is then we have the frame rate fps so you can choose 30 48 or 60 that's that's what i recommend Re, re, what 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 that's what i recommend so, uh, yeah that rate is it right i don't know if i'd spell it right but yeah just choose what you want if you're have it on 60 fps and you're recording a game but in the video it just lags as hell then you choose 30 fps then it will work smoothly probably so, but I use 60 because that runs um, pretty smooth on my PC. And then we go to hotkeys. Here you can choose all the hotkeys you want to use, all the settings here. You have push to mute, push to talk, whatever. And then we have start and stop recording. That's that. That's the only, um, that, that, these are the only key settings that I use for my whole OBS studio. Um, so I use the same key for starting and stop recording. Um, I have it on F9, but you can also choose something else. I'm sorry. Um, you can just choose something else if you want. You can put it on F7, I don't know, whatever you want. So, now we actually were going through the settings of OBS Studio. So, now you're actually done and you can record your games. Um, but before I end this video, um, you see if we go into game capture, double click on that one, we see that we have capture any full screen application. I will leave it on that, but you can also just click on that guy and then you can choose what you want to record here, but just choose capture any full screen application. Um, and then here you can choose the volume of your desktop and the mic options here. So, and once you're then in the game, you can just click start recording or the key you use to start and stop recording mine is f9 as you saw so i'm sorry i'm i'm so i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry i'm so i'm fucking sorry oh my god i'm sorry jesus okay i'm i'm so i'm so sorry i i didn't spell that right jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> okay that's we're just joking that, that kidding okay so, you just click start recording or start streaming, um, but I use this one for only gameplays, not for streaming. So, you just click here on start recording or in the game, you just click on the key you choose for start and stop recording. Um, yeah, I think that was it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just write them in the comments below. I will answer all really I, i'm serious i will answer all of your questions if you have some questions if you have any problems i will help you i will search for everything you need every problem i will help you with so just ask if you have any problems i will try to help you i will do my best so that was it and i think yeah hopefully you can enjoy your gameplays so yeah Adios, amigos.